Tapes over there. Brittany Rachel. So, I was just thinking like about my first year for living for Christ, right? And one of the things I battled with a lot was fear. Like, it's just, like, so funny how I'm not fearful anymore. Because I used to, every time, every time I, a car rolled past me, y'all, I ran. <laughs> like, I was just so scared. And I think with me walking home, the Lord used to be letting me know to depend on him. But I didn't used to. Because it was like, when I was in high school and stuff, you know that, y'all remember that East Side Rapist? That East Side Rapist was out, like, he would come out to people who had headphones in their ear uh, and who was walking by themselves and stuff like that. So that made me, excuse me, even more scared. And, oh, I hope y'all can see me. And, um, it was made me even more scared. Like, I was just used, every time a car was stopped by me, I ran. And one time I ran. One time, my friend was just trying to say hi to me. Uh, my friend at the time, Shaquilla from high school, and she was like, "Brittany, Brittany, what you running from?" I was like, "I'm sorry, my bad. If a car stop, I just dip and stuff. I just used to be so fearful of men. Period. Like, like men. Like, I was just so scared. Like, I used to be so scared. I remember when I used to think people was chasing me or something." <laughs> And I used to go into the store around the corner from my mama house at the time when I was living with my mama. And he used to be like, what the heck is wrong with you? You need to stop acting like this. Stop being scared and just go home and stuff like that. I'm like, so I literally had to seek the Lord to get the spirit of fear out of me because fear, if you fear, you can't have love. Like you ain't gonna, your love ain't going to be genuine if you scared all the time. <clears throat> so now... I use wisdom where I go versus being afraid to actually go. You know, like, if I got a bad feeling about a place, I'm not going to go. But I'm not scared to go there. If the Lord is dealing with me not to go to a certain place, I'm not going to go. But I don't run or nothing <laughs> like I used to. I used to be running, y'all. That job was terrible. Like, the spirit of fear was just on me so bad. <sighs> that job was crazy, like. I used to be so scared. I used to be scared to get snatched up for real. And I ain't never told nobody this. I ain't never told nobody this. Like, how scared I was when I first got saved. Like, especially when I first got saved. I used to be scared. Like, I used to have dreams that people would just come and mess with me and um, take my Bible and uh, tear it up and burn it up just to, you know, bother me and stuff like that. And I was like, I just thank God I'm not scary no more. I'm not fearful no more. Like, I wasn't scared of, uh, you know, I wasn't scared of certain things. You know how girls are scared of spiders and all that stuff like that. Like, scared of rodents and stuff. Or scared to even fight people and all that. I wasn't scared of none of that. I was just so scared of getting snatched. Like, sometimes I used to be scared to look behind my back by reading, uh, uh, Genesis, uh, 19, I think. Well, no, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's Adam McMore. And about how Lot's wife, when she looked back, <laughs> she turned to saw. <laughs> but she looked back into, she looked back into the city where they was, the guy was telling them to depart from. Not to look back behind your back to make sure nobody behind you. <laughs> it used to be terrible, bro. But I, what I say to say this is that we all battle with something. We just gotta let the Lord defeat that thing and give it to God, like, if you don't give it to God, then you gonna keep you gonna keep battling with it forever. So I finally gave that thing to God in my first year of living safe, and I don't battle with that no more. Deuces, deuces, deuces.